Hi, Mike here, and I want to talk to you about Boozy Jerky. You might have heard Big Ray and I talk about Boozy Jerky on the podcast or seen us post about it on our social media. Boozy Jerky is beef jerky infused with craft beer, and they have a variety of great flavors that you can get shipped directly to you. They've been awesome enough to give us a discount code to pass along to you and whoever you want to pass it along to after that. What you need to do is go to boozyjerky.com, pick out all the different beef jerky you want, add it to your cart. When you go to checkout, you use the code CBBL22. Again, that's CBBL22. And that's going to get you 10% off your entire order. And then you get craft beer infused beef jerky shipped directly to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Craft Beer Bucket with Big Ray and Mike, where we review beers you have to try before you die. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. It's just good. I don't care what time of day it is you're listening to this. Today's a good day. You're a good person, and you deserve a good beer. And the cherry on top is you get, you deserve to hear Mike and I talk about our beers. You've lived such a good life that you get to enjoy this moment with us right now. Well, and how cool is it, Mike, that we get to share this <laughs> moment with our listeners? This is special. It's very special. Like you've got like, like you're, you're, are you trying like this uh, this yoga slash calming voice thing? Is I, that what I you're trying just, out. It just hit me, and I felt like you know what? I I, I mean, I mean, I just have this vibe going right now. And okay. uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know where it came from. It just hit me, and I'm like, you know what? This feels good. I'm gonna roll with it. You're like, hello, listeners, and welcome to WKRP in Cincinnati. We play today's this latest is- hits, including Celine Dion, Cher, and we might even get jazzy and pull out Frank Sinatra. Wow. N- n- yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, well, didn't that, wasn't that show? That show came out long before we were born. No, no. I mean, I just popped in my right? head, yeah. Yeah, just WKRP in Cincinnati, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, hey. I, was it Lonnie watching Anderson it on Nick at Night? What? Nick at Night? Oh, yeah. Lonnie Anderson. Wasn't she in that? Yeah. Yeah. I think. She like yeah. she co-started yeah. with Burt Reynolds in a lot of stuff back in the day. <laughs> yeah, you may, you know more about Lonnie Anderson than I do. I'm just thinking. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but I mean, I remember watching that show on Nick at Night back when that was a thing. Right. That and like Mr. Ed and the Beverly Hillbillies and stuff like that. Sure. There's only four episodes of WKRP in Cincinnati. Really? Only made yeah. four, like, total ever? Or not episodes, four seasons. I'm sorry. Did seasons, I say episodes? Maybe? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what? My bad. I know they made more than four episodes. <laughs> four oh, episodes, sorry. or four seasons, 90 episodes. Uh, it ran from, oh, okay. let's see. That, sound, that sounds better. Where was I? I Google, I Google it up. So... They had a, the new WKRP in Cincinnati in the early 90s, but it didn't last too long. It premiered in 1978 and ended in 1982. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so right in, I was born, I was born in 81. Yeah. I, I remember Probably. like even, even being young, I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was, I mean, it, it was funny. So, and I like the fact that they were on the radio and, uh, they had that one guy with the longer hair with the sunglasses on and he was kind of cool. So anyway, WKRP, I don't know how we got there. I don't know why that popped into my mind. So, Hey, uh, I have have no idea. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. Why don't you tell us about our sticker sponsor? Yes. So please let me just sit back and relax and enjoy hearing about the Oklahoma Craft Beer Trail. So thank you, Oklahoma Craft Beer Trail, for being our sticker sponsor on this lovely, endearing, and all-encompassing episode. To be eligible <laughs> to get your hands. I can't keep doing <laughs> it. totally lost that you laugh. Anyway, to get, your, to get some of your own Oklahoma Craft Beer Trail stickers, 
drop us a message on social media. Hit us in our inbox. Say, I want some stickers within seven days of the release date of this podcast. And uh, we will send you some Oklahoma Craft Beer Trail stickers along with some Craft Beer Bucket List stickers. And your life will be even more enlightened. Uh, you know, you've met my buddy Jay, right? Yeah. That lives over here. He's got a yep. voice that's uh, very calming. And I always told him, like, he should, like, you know, do voice work or, of some sort. Like, yeah, read a book and record it or something. Because right. he's naturally kind of like that. He's kind of like, yeah, that sounds great. You know, this is the way we're going to do it. And and we're going to move forward. And I hope you're going to come along with us. Um, and, you know, and I would love for you to be comfortable and safe and, you know, just that kind of, la- that kind of language and that kind of demeanor and that kind of voice and tone and all that. In, in his own way, I, it, I've heard, you know, I've only met him two or three times, but his candor very much reminded me of Bob Ross in the way he yeah. spoke. Going to make very Bob Ross-esque. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, here's a happy so. little accident. Yeah. And it's like, happy little tree, a little tree friends. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, uh, you know, I don't, uh, you know what the, you know what my main problem with him is? Who's that? And I hope he hears this. He, he's, he doesn't drink beer. Jay. Oh yeah. Jay, he, he's, he's not a beer drinker. He's not a beer drinker. And I, you know, I, it's I don't a, know if the, my, 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 okay. my uh, baloney radar immediately pops up. I'm like, well, I don't know about that. Somebody who doesn't drink beer. Right. I mean, to each their own, you know, it's a judgment free zone. No, I'm definitely being judgy over here. That's what I just did, right? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, he's he's still all right. Me. Yeah. He's at least a three out of 10 in my book. Oh, man. That's pretty high score. Yeah, I know. If you don't want to that's be on the craft beer bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you know, one time, at one point you got up to like a two. So, I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, that was a pinnacle of my entire life right there. Yeah. We do what we can, Dose. right? Dose. We'll give you we'll give you some tips on how to. It's like getting your credit score up. We'll give you some tips on how to get those numbers up. <laughs> oh, so man. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we're uh, we're drinking a couple beers tonight. Um, I, I think what I what I'd like to do is we'll just each introduce our beer and I'll go first. How's that? Do it. Sounds great. All right. So Ray and I each are just gonna have one beer and we're gonna drink them and talk about them and all that. Tonight I'm having the Knuckle Bock. From Texas Leaguer Brewing Company out of Missouri City, Texas, and that's down around the Houston area. Uh, the Knucklebach is a German style dark lager. It says it's six point four percent, and it's a baseball theme. So it's got a guy winding up, getting ready to pitch, just like the old days. The Knucklebach from Texas Leaguer. What about you, sir? So I've got a beer from Savannah, Georgia. It's called Mountain Jam. And it's by Southbound Brewing Company out of Savannah. I think I just said Savannah. So I just said Savannah twice. Savannah's but Mountain place. Jam. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love Savannah. We've talked about that a couple of times. Yeah. I've had several beers up out of Savannah. So I'm excited to try another one uh, tonight. So but I feel like we've, we've got an impromptu theme here. We got You got you know beer out of South Texas, and I got a beer out of South Georgia. We're going All up south. in the South tonight. Going South. All up in the South. Hey, uh, let's crack that beer. You want to go first? Yeah, I do. It's pretty good. I think yours sounded better. I don't know. I know. Yours came across really good to me, dude. But it's always different. Like, I've got a headset on. I don't get to hear mine. Um, You don't get to hear yours. Yours was, like, crispy, dude. That That was good. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is this is a malty sweet beer. It's good. So the knuckle bock, I'll read what it says. We bet you didn't see this coming. This is a one of a kind bock that's packed full of rich flavors, yet is unsurprisingly smooth. Baffle your friends when you hand them a knuckle bock. Knuckle bock, knuckle bock, Missouri City, Texas. Ooh, I'm getting like a so it's like a dark, darker bread, malty, a little bit of molasses sweetness out of this. It's kind of like a it's kind of got a thick, thicker mouthfeel than I expected. 
I expect a, right. you know the ball Bach beer to be. It just kind of feels thicker, um, but it is definitely. Um, I, I, like it, it sits on the tongue very like a, like a, it's thicker, but it sits on the tongue lighter. I don't know how to describe that quite yet, but it tastes great. This this is tastes good. This is a good tasting beer to, for me. So, what's going on over there with your beer? You're like rocking it over there. Oh yeah, dude. This normally I like everybody. Knows I'm an IPA guy. I want that strong punch in the tongue. I like my my weird stouts all the adjuncts all the crazy stuff you can throw in one but this is uh i mean it's a southern lager right so more traditional style but dude this hit me which is like it's just so clean and refreshing and it's got a, a hot variety i didn't expect to see in a southern lager now uh, they're rocking citra amarillo and cascade so for a southern lager this thing is delivering some like serious citrus notes and I like it. So it's got some breadiness about it, but it's still very light, very light to medium body, very crisp. But the citrus in the malty is just like, damn. Um, oh, it's good. Yeah. So I kind of went in like, oh, I'm excited to try something new, but way, way overshot what I thought it would deliver on. Right. So I'm like, wow. I'm good. Well, I think so. As I drink this, I think it. I think it's the, the thickness. Um, or like, I'm going to say this, and I'm not trying to be too negative when I say it. Is it kind of reminds me of maple syrup? Really? So it's got, it's a little thicker on the tongue than I that, than I would prefer. But it has, you know, how maple syrup it, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet like the other syrups you get, right? Oh, sure, sure. And I Especially love Especially the real stuff, like real right, maple syrup. Saying. Yeah, so it's I, I like the fact that it's not over like it, it's got a sweetness to it, the maltiness and the 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 dark breads and the, the, you know it's got a little bit of molasses type taste to it, but it's not overly sweet. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah. But but the, but the body is a little bit throwing me off a little bit. But I mean, at six point four percent, it ain't going to take but a couple of these, and you're going to feel real good. I don't know if I could do a sixer at 6.4%. I'm not Ray Nail over here. What, what are you trying to say, Mike? I'm saying uh, you're a that, boss. You can like slam a sixer yeah. like a seven point beer. I can. Yeah, it helps. I'm a big guy, dude. I've got the room yeah. to store it. And uh, I've got a tummy now that can really just absorb the alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. The joys of getting older. Yeah. I, I, you know what I, I like spear I think it's a it's a good representative of a of the style um I'm not gonna sit here and say it's it's like an award-winning beer because I don't think it's something super special but I think it's a solid beer uh it's got a good um diversity of flavors that come across it's the the body's up pretty good it, like I said it's throwing me for a loop there um the ABV is up there a little bit, so you don't have to have as many. I mean, everything's going pretty good for this. I would definitely think I could have this with some, uh, you know, at a, a fall tailgating session. You know, if you're going to watch your football team and you're going to take some beers for, to have with some brats and burgers while you're tailgating at a football game, this beer is the one. There so, you go. Yeah. I like it. And I like the can art too. So it's got a... The can art looks like an old school baseball card. I don't oh, that's awesome. That. I can yeah. see that. I like that. Yeah. Dude, like like right yeah. out of the 1940s. Yeah. So I like it. And uh, I used to have a buddy that worked. He doesn't work there anymore, but he worked in Missouri City and uh, loved it. And I've never, I've never been. But uh, if I ever get down there, this is definitely going to be on my list to go visit. So. I guess I should tell them how to how to find it, right? You should. <laughs> Texas League of Brewing, you can find them on Instagram, uh, Facebook. If you just type in TX Leaguer or Texas Leaguer, both of them get you there. And they're also on Twitter as well under the same. Uh, and they're at 13503, so 13503 Pike Road in Missouri City, Texas. Or you can look at 
TXLeaguer.com. And check them out. I like I like their theme. If you go on their on their website, it's got a whole baseball theme, and I love it. So no, that's cool. You're definitely the baseball guy. The two of us. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I you know I don't keep up with it as well as I used to, but I love watching baseball. Right. I like to so, go to a game. Yeah. Like if I get if I go to you know being in Oklahoma, I mean the closest I could go to Dallas, I guess. Um, is there a team in Dallas? No. Yeah, Texas Rangers. Yeah, Texas Rangers. Yeah. It, uh, um, I got was I got hung up on the Houston Astros for a minute. I'm like, I got all that Houston. I mean, they're, they're good but too. No. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm thinking I, if I go to a game, I go to Kansas City. So I'm not a big baseball fan. It's just like if I want to, you know, do something to do. I guess. I'll the Royals have a pretty. The Kansas City Royals have a pretty loyal fan base. It, I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest. Um, because they're they're usually pretty terrible. Not not pretty terrible. They're usually not great. Uh, but every right. now and then they, they they come up and they do something. Sure, like a few years ago. But like, yeah. I just like there's a whole vibe when you go there, and I'm sure every stadium's like this. But I got to get one of those big Sheboygan dogs. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just fun, dude. It's, I don't know. Just to When's jump the last time you went to Kansas City there. Royals game? Uh, it's probably been four or five years at least. It's been a while at this point. That's about how long it's been for me with the Texas Rangers, too. Actually, so, you know, with baseball, I enjoy the minor league teams just as much. So whether it's the Tulsa Drillers, uh, we've got the mm. uh, Arkansas Travelers here in Little Rock, um, you know, so – and have some minor league teams, but I like the, the triple a teams are usually just as fun to watch. I think that, you know, usually the game goes by, usually goes by a little quicker, but they they do more for the fan experience, I think. Yeah. That Um, makes sense. And you and I were out in Tulsa last time I was there close to the ballpark and they did fireworks. Yep. So that's one thing I like about being in Tulsa minute. One. Okay. So free plug to one. Okay. Or one Oak, if you will. Um, but dude, every Friday night there's a home game. They put on a big fireworks show. Yeah. You know, we ate at Elgin Park, which is a nice you know pizza and wing joint with a small brewery inside. Um, like literally across the street, we walked outside to the patio area and had a front row seat to the show. Man, it was fabulous. Yeah. Oh man, so free plug to uh Elgin Park. You know they uh have Marshall Marshall Brewing beer inside there, brewed just for Elgin Park. Hey, their, so, uh, anyway. their buffalo chicken pizza was really good. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, but dude, I gotta talk more about my beer, Mike. This Mountain yeah, do it. Let's hear South it. Bend Brewing. Let's hear so, it. So, like, dude, I still I can't get over this. How good it is with this with again the hop variety, but uh, it's it's so smooth and clean and crisp. Uh, they talk about you know what's better than warm sunshine on your face on a crisp mountain day, the addition of some fine tunes and a great beer in your hand. Southbound presents Mountain Jam. Our Southern Dry Hopped Lager with the refreshing taste you crave. Citra, Amarillo, and Cascade Hops lend this brew its heady citrus aroma to create a craft lager like no other. I'm like, dude, this is just a solid all-around beer. Like you're saying, like tailgating, grilling out, walking your kid to school. It's a a beer for for everything. It's a beer for the people. I was totally kidding about drinking a beer, walking my kid to school. I was really th- <laughs> hoping he'd laugh at that when I, I mean, said it. Um, I, I wasn't judging. <laughs> but no, it's just that good, just like summertime, uh, definitely summertime. This is, it's, it's when it's hot outside. This would be a great one. Just like we talked about after you mow the yard, you're doing yard yeah. work. You're just all hot and sweaty. You need that refreshing beer. This fits the bill. But for me, this isn't a solo beer. For me, like this is one I want to enjoy with friends, right? This is a good uh, social beer, if you will. Yeah. Um, even the can art, it's uh, one thing I've noticed with Southbound Brewing, they all have a guitar pick in the center of the beer can. Okay. And I like that. So this particular one has banjos um, on. It's got a couple of hop cones, and it looks like uh, it's mirrored. So there's like four banjos, one in each corner. And it's got yeah. some pictures of mountains and some pine trees and the banjo, right? So it's just cool, man. It makes you want to be outside. You want to hear some live music. Like when your Burroughs brings over a guitar and everybody sits around the fire and just sings a tune or whatever. Uh, it's a beer. Yeah. So very social beer, very light beer, very sessionable. And it's going to pair with everything that we love, dude. Hot wings, tacos, 
cheeseburgers, all of it. This will pair with all of it. Hey, so just, um, I know you got a new uh, flat top grill or um, a Blackstone, right? <laughs> I did. Have, I got a Blackstone, you, man. And I know you're pumped about it. Have you tried to do like some wings and then do some dry rub on them after that? So I'm still I'm still learning, right? I've only used it three okay. times so far, um, but I haven't done wings on it yet. Okay, I just wonder. Now, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm getting there. So I spatchcocked an entire chicken tonight and put on it, and that turned out fantastic. By the way. Yeah, that, that sounds that sounds like uh, you didn't invite me. I'm not very happy about it. I'm sorry, Mike. Well, you can you you come to my house anytime you want. You can go to my deep freeze and pick out a protein, and I'll be happy to cook it for you. Oh uh, well, we'll see about that. If I show up tomorrow night, um, then we will have a lot of food and we'll drink a lot of beer, and uh, we might even do it. We should do an Instagram live stream of that, Mike. <laughs> I, th- I think enough. that'd be fun. That'd be yeah, fun. Fair enough. But anyway, I love this beer, Mike. Uh, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a huge fan, and uh, I wish that I, I had had a chance to visit this brewery when I was in Savannah last. Um, usually, when I travel, it's for work, so I've got limited free time. But it's like, man, this is one. It's on my on my brewery bucket list now. I want I want to go check these guys out. What? Uh, so I think it's about time. I mean, because we're we're getting to the point where we need to rate this beer and give it a song period. Yep. What do you say? I say let's dive in. You want to go first or second? I want to go first. Do it. So it's no secret. I love this beer. I'm going to give it for what it is. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. Like this spoke to me on a lot of different levels. Um. It's definitely, you know, a Southern style lager. I, I just love the flavor. I, I, just, I like so many things about this. So I'm going to score it really high. And I'm going to go for a song that's not usually in in um, what I talk about on here, but I'm going to do a song from Credence Clearwater Revival, Mike. Oh, okay. I'm sure you've heard of, the, I'm sure you've heard of those guys. Oh, yeah, CCR. Yeah, man. Black Moon Rising. No, I think it's called "Could You Ever See the Rain." Is that is that the name of it? Oh, I want to know. Have you ever seen? Have the you rain? ever seen that? Have you ever seen the rain? That's it. Yeah. That that song popped in my head. Yeah. I feel like it's just you know for a band out of California, they just have like this southern vibe, and I feel like a lot of their songs you can just sit down and have one dude playing, and everyone's going to know it, and you can sing along. And uh, for me, yeah. that just fits the vibe of the beer. And you gave it, what rating? It was 9 out of 10? I gave it a 9. Yeah, I was going to score this one really high. All right, dang. All right. Well, uh, I had the Knuckle Bock from Texas League of Brewing out of Missouri City, Texas. Uh, the Knuckle Bock sits at 6.4%. Um, and you can find them at Texas Leaguer on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then txleaguer.com on, on, on line. Um. I thought this was a pretty good beer. I, you know, th- as I was mentioned before, uh, if you ask me my opinion, I would not say this is an award winner. There's nothing like incredibly unique about it, but I think it's a pr- pretty straightforward representation of the style. And I think that it delivers on, you know, in some way or another, a lot of the typical flavors you're expecting. Um, it, you know, at 6.4%, this is probably going to be, you know, uh, I'm not going to consume, this is not going to be a, one where I get a six pack and, kill it at the at the tailgate but i do think it's a good tailgating beer you know this is one that and, and how i do tailgating is as it gets cooler i transition my beers right so when you start tailgating in september it's still pretty warm here in the south and you know you drink lighter beers and this is probably going to be an october november beer where it's a uh-huh. little bit cooler and you can kind of take on the the thicker heavier beers a little bit yep. um but I, I i think it's a great beer to pair with that and i think it's a great beer to share what I like about this is it, it's got a it's got a flavor profile that I think a lot of different people would enjoy. Oh, there and you go. So I think a lot of different people can pick this up and be like, "All right, yeah, that's pretty good, right?" Um, so with that, I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. Uh, okay. I think it belongs on the craft beer bucket list, and I think it's a it's a pretty good beer, and it, uh, I think it deserves that. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. There you go. Yeah. What's I up? like it, Mike. So I like it. Yeah, and oh, I gotta have a song. Well, I, was, I was about to say, what was your song again? Uh... <sighs> oh, buddy, the minute I cracked into this beer and tasted it, I so uh, I spent a few years, my formative years in Texas, right? 
Yep. And I don't, when people ask where I'm from, I, I don't really say Texas cause I don't, I feel like I'm a little bit of a imposter when it comes to that. I did spend, I mean, I, I lived there from when I, my dad got out of the air force and I was like four. So I lived there from like, I was four to about 15. Right. So 10, 11 sure. years. Um, so I lived there for a while. Um, but I don't really claim it. I don't know. However, like there's still a part of me that has that Texas pride. Well, you spent and, your and whole I, childhood there. Right. But, right. but, but I, I went to high school in a different state and I went to college, went to high school in Oklahoma, college in Oklahoma. I moved around. Um, I consider Oklahoma to be my home state. And I know that's, uh, it's it, so anyway, so I kind of feel like I'm both. I'm kind of feel like I'm Texas and Oklahoma, but if, if you tell that to a Texan, they're not going to like it. If you tell that to an Oklahoman, they're not going to like it. So, you know, you just got to choose your battles. Anyway, that's not my point. <laughs> when I drank this beer, I really liked it. And it just automatically made me think about being like that, that Texas pride aspect, right? right. Um, being from Texas or, you know, you know, being in Texas or whatever, there's a different spirit about the people. And I thought about, anyway, so the song that popped in my head to get, to cut to the chase is Miranda Lambert's song, Texas pride. Oh, uh, and it's a little bit older. Um, and, um, you know, I love, you know, I like Miranda Lambert more as she and I both age. Like I like, I think her music is changing and I think I'm changing as well. And I've come, I, I like her music more as we both get older. Well, there you go. But that's a good song. It's Texas pride, Miranda Lambert. And I give it an eight out of 10. Outstanding. Yeah. Hey, wrap I it like up, it. close us out, and send us on our way, sir. Absolutely. So yet again, we had a solid lineup. So solid. We added two beers to the craft beer bucket list. And you folks, the listener, you got to enjoy Mike and I just talk and talk and talk about beers while you listen to us talk about beers. And you got to hear Mike smack his microphone with his beer. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was kind of like, you know, the, the the clanging of the gong, but craft beer bucket list style. Anyway, I've had enough of that. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate each and every one of all 113,647 of you. Y'all are just the best. So huge craft beer bucket list family. And I just pulled that number straight out of my ass. I have no idea, but I'm sure it's more. So y'all are part of a huge global community. And that's awesome. We all get to drink beer together. And please, please, please do me a solid. Give us a five-star rating on Apple. Be sure to subscribe so every time we post a new episode on Tuesday at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time, you get a notification. If you're listening from Stitcher, Spotify, Google, Amazon Music, just wherever you get your podcast, thank you for being awesome. We appreciate you as well. And as always, don't drink and drive, y'all. You guys know better. But do support local, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode of Craft Beer Bucket List. Adios. You asked me. Craft Beer Bucket List is partially supported by Red Dirt LLC. Red Dirt is a parks, recreation, and tourism services agency with the goal to provide the tools, information, and leadership to help guide, plan, and market your organization or business. Red Dirt provides media management, photography and videography, research and analysis, and overall management for excursions and experiences for your agency. Visit reddirt.us.